We hear people use the term 50 caliber all the time, and it can be a bit confusing if you consider the countless cartridges on the market today that measure half an inch or 50 inch in diameter. For starters, there's the 50GI for the Glock 21 converted to shoot the cartridge, the 50 Action Express or 50AE for the Desert Eagle, the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum for Big Blue's Model 500 X-Frame Revolver, the 50 Alaskan, the 500 Bushwhacker, the 500 Nitro Express, etc, etc. But really, when people say 50 caliber or 50 cal, they are very likely talking about the 50 Browning machine gun cartridge, more commonly referred to as the 50 BMG. The 50 BMG is a large and powerful cartridge that was originally developed for use in the M2 Browning heavy machine gun during World War I. Since then, it has been adapted for various other military purposes, such as long-range sniping, anti-material and anti-vehicle roles. Rifles like the Barrett M82 and Macmillan TAC-50 are chambered in 50 BMG and are widely recognized as some of the most iconic examples of guns chambered in 50 caliber, or again, the 50 Browning machine gun. There are of course many others, but for the purposes of this video, we won't get into them. The 50 BMG is widely recognized as one of the most powerful military cartridges ever invented. One of the most common 50 BMG loads, the M33 ball round, uses a bullet with a weight of 660 grains. Fired from a 30-inch rifle barrel, it has a velocity of around 2,900 feet per second, which equates to 12,550 foot-pounds of force at the muzzle. This makes it about three times as powerful as a 300 Weatherby Magnum, four times as powerful as the 30-06, and around ten times as powerful as a 5.56. But as powerful as it is, there are cartridges that surpass the 50 BMG as far as ballistic performance. In this video, we'll take a look at five bullets more powerful than the 50 BMG. Number 5. 12.7 by 108 mm The 12.7 by 108 mm cartridge is a 12.7 mm heavy machine gun and anti-material rifle cartridge with a long history of use in the former Soviet Union, the former Warsaw Pact countries, modern Russia, China, and other nations. Invented in 1934, this cartridge aimed to rival the German 13.2 mm tough anti-tank rifle round and the American 50 Browning machine gun round. The 12.7 by 108 mm serves in similar roles as the NATO 50 BMG cartridge, but the two differ in bullet shape, weight, and casing dimensions. The 12.7 by 108 mm cartridge's slightly longer casing and larger case capacity allow it to hold more of a different type of powder, making it capable of engaging various battlefield targets, including unarmored and lightly armored vehicles, as well as damaging ancillary equipment on heavily armored vehicles like tanks. With the experimental Avers round, the 12.7 by 108 mm can also ignite gasoline and diesel fuel since 2019. One notable rifle designed to chamber the 12.7 by 108 mm cartridge is the ZVI Falcon, a Czech bolt-action bullpup anti-material rifle developed by Zbrojovka v Setin Inc. Now, ZVI Inc. This rifle caters to ground troops and special forces for operations against distant targets up to 1,700 yards away, such as armored fighting vehicles or technical equipment. The Falcon boasts a bullpup bolt-action design with a Mauser locking system, a fixed two-round box magazine, and a magazine cutoff requiring manual loading of a new cartridge into the chamber after each shot. The bolt has two locking lugs. The Falcon is equipped with a collapsible bipod and carrying handle mounted about halfway along the rifle. It also features a muzzle brake to dampen recoil, with ZVI claiming that the muzzle brake reduces recoil by 75%. Although a bayonet mount was initially planned, it was not included in production versions. The Falcon accommodates the Miopta ZD 10x50 telescopic sight for daylight engagements and the Miopta ZN 6X passive night vision sight for nighttime use. It is fitted with a sight rail for mounting purposes. The 12.7x108mm cartridge's dimensions are 5.807 inches long by 0.856 inches wide and it boasts a bullet weight of 914 grains, a muzzle velocity of 2580 feet per second, and a muzzle energy of 13,453 foot-pounds of force at the muzzle edging out the 50 BMG's energy by less than a thousand foot-pounds of force. Number 4. 14.5 by 114 mm The 14.5 by 114 mm, a 57 caliber heavy machine gun and anti-material rifle cartridge, has its origins in the Soviet Union, the former Warsaw Pact, modern Russia, and other countries. Initially developed for the PTRS and PTRD anti-tank rifles, the 14.5 by 114 mm cartridge later served as the foundation for the KPV heavy machine gun, which in turn formed the basis of the ZPU series anti-aircraft guns and the primary armament of the BTR series of armored personnel carriers from the BTR-60 to the BTR-80. 
The cartridge is also used in heavy anti-material sniper rifles, manufactured in countries such as Bulgaria, China, Egypt, Hungary, Iraq, North Korea, Poland, Romania, Russia, and the former Czechoslovakia. The 14.5 by 114 millimeter cartridge has found its way into the United States. In 2018, Anzio Ironworks, an American firearm manufacturer, built the Anzio 20mm, the first American anti-material rifle designed and mass-produced for public sale with a bore diameter exceeding 50 caliber in over 80 years. With an effective range of 4,572 meters, the Anzio 20mm rifle is regarded as the world's longest-range rifle. It was designed and built to support the FBI in its global war on terrorism, as mission requirements had increased exponentially, and the agency needed a more powerful weapon than the Remington Bolt Action. In the context of India, this rifle would be useful against threats operating at long ranges, targeting vehicles, vessels, or other transport systems purpose-built by terrorists or the Pakistani army. Although the Anzio 20mm is primarily chambered for the 20mm Vulcan caliber, aka 20 by 102 mm it is also available in two other chamberings, 14.5 by 114 mm and Anzio's proprietary caliber 20 over 50 The rifle features an optional 3-round detachable box magazine, a 49-inch barrel, and a threaded muzzle that accepts either a muzzle brake or a suppressor. Depending on the configuration, the overall length of the rifle is 2 meters, and it weighs between 27 and 59 kilograms. The cartridge has an overall length of 6.134 inches and a base diameter of 1.061 inches. It uses bullets that can weigh up to 1,026 grains with velocities reaching up to 3,300 feet per second, resulting in a muzzle energy of 24,520 foot-pounds of force, making it twice as powerful as the 50 BMG. Oh. Number 3. 20 by 138 millimeter B. The 20 by 138 mm B, also known as the Long Solo Third Cartridge, is a type of ammunition that played a significant role in anti-aircraft and anti-tank weaponry during World War II. Developed by the Swiss Solo Third Company in the early 1930s, the cartridge is characterized by its 20 mm caliber, 138 mm case length, and a belted case, indicated by the B in its designation. Weighing in at 300 grams, this powerful ammunition was employed in various weapons, most notably the Finnish Lati L-39 anti-tank rifle. The Lati L-39 boasted exceptional accuracy, penetration, and range, which made it a formidable force during the Second World War. However, its large size also rendered transportation challenging. Nicknamed the Norse Pissy or Elephant Gun, the Lati L-39's use evolved as tanks developed thicker armor that proved impervious to its penetrating capabilities. The weapon transitioned to long-range sniping, tank harassment, and in its fully automatic L-3944 variant, improvised anti-aircraft weapon usage. After World War II, several Lati L-39 rifles remained in service as anti-helicopter weapons, while others were sold to collectors, predominantly in the United States. The rifles, particularly those in working condition, are now considered rare and highly sought after. Some of the deactivated Lati L-39s were later reactivated due to their value. Despite the rarity of the 20 by 138 mm B ammunition, as a result of the scarcity of the 20 by 138 mm B ammo, many Lati L39 rifles were rechambered to 50 BMG to reduce operational costs. Civilian ownership of these rifles is still possible, subject to state and federal laws. As the weapon fires rounds larger than 50 caliber, it is deemed a destructive device under the 1934 National Firearms Act, with civilian ownership dependent on compliance with this law and state restrictions. The 20 by 138 mm B features a bottlenecked belted case with a bullet diameter of 20 mm, making it a 78 caliber. The cartridge rim measures 1.121 inches in diameter, and the cartridge has an overall length of 7.98 inches. Weighing 1851.88 grains, the bullet is capable of velocities upwards of 2950 feet per second and a muzzle energy of 34,655 foot pounds of force. This incredible power makes it less than three times as powerful as a 50 BMG. Number 2. 950 JDJ The 950 JDJ, a powerful large-caliber rifle cartridge, was developed by J.D. Jones, an American gunsmith and weapon designer from SSK Industries. This unique cartridge is characterized by its impressive size, weight, and power, setting it apart from other rifle cartridges commonly used today. The 950 JDJ case is based on the 20mm Vulcan, trimmed down to a 70mm or 2.75 inch case length, and necked up for a 95 caliber or 24.1mm bullet. Custom made projectiles are most commonly used, with the majority weighing in at 36,000 grains or 230 grams or 8.2 ounces, 
over half a pound. As the name suggests, rifles chambered for this cartridge have a groove diameter of 0.95 inches. In the United States, SSK received a sporting use exception, allowing the rifles to be owned by an American citizen aged 18 or older like any other Title I rifle. The rifles feature Macmillan firearm stocks and extraordinarily thick Krieger barrels with an 18-pound muzzle brake. Depending on the options selected, these rifles can weigh anywhere from 85 to 120 pounds, making them suitable only for shooting from a bench rest or heavy bipod. Despite their hefty weight, the recoil produced is still significant, necessitating the use of components capable of withstanding such force, including scopes and bipods. When fired from a 110-pound rifle, the 950 JDJ can generate well over 200 foot-pounds of free recoil energy. As a result, shooting typically involves using a heavy lead sled or similar shooting rest, while the rifle scope features significant eye relief to prevent injury to the ocular orbit. Unfortunately, the sheer size, weight, and power of these rifles render them impractical for hunting use. Consequently, SSK only manufactured three rifles of this kind, and as of 2014, the company no longer produces the ammunition. The 950 JDJ cartridge propels its 3600 grain bullet at a speed of approximately 2200 feet per second, resulting in a muzzle energy of 38,685 foot-pounds of force. The 556 by 45 mm NATO cartridge used in the M16 and M14 rifles produces between 1,200 and 1,300 foot-pounds of force. The 308 Winchester, popular among hunters, police, and military snipers, generates between 2,000 and 3,000 foot-pounds of force, depending on the load used. This makes the 950 JDJ over three times as potent as the 50 BMG. Number 1. 23 by 152 mm B the 23 by 152 mm B cartridge has a rich history of use in various military weapon systems from aircraft autocannons to anti-aircraft guns. It is a large caliber cartridge that has played a significant role in the history of military weaponry, particularly in the USSR slash CIS. Developed for use in various weapon systems, this cartridge has been employed in the VYA-23 aircraft autocannon, the Ellution 2 ground attack aircraft, the 2A7 and 2A14 auto cannons on the ZU-23-2 anti-aircraft gun series, and the ZSU-23-4 Shilka, among others. Although the 23 by 152 mm B cartridge is no longer employed in the main anti-aircraft weapons of modern Russia, having been replaced by the 30 by 165 mm cartridge, it remains in service with the Russian naval infantry and various other countries. And despite being replaced by more modern cartridges in some applications, the 23 by 152 mm B remains in service in several countries. And its recent adoption in the Bayer 23 sniper rifle highlights its continued relevance and versatility as a powerful cartridge choice. This new rifle, the Bayer 23, was adopted by the Iranian military for the very heavy sniper rifle role. It fires a massive 23 mm projectile, a size typically associated with a small caliber cannon rather than a rifle. The Bayer 23 is designed to engage targets at ranges up to 4 kilometers, making it a formidable sniping tool. Its primary functions include defeating low-flying aerial targets, light-armored vehicles, and enemy personnel hidden behind fortified walls, though it can be employed to engage personnel directly with devastating results. The Bayer 23 is a comprehensive sniping system that requires an operating crew of 2 to 3 personnel and weighs approximately 62 kilograms. To manage the significant recoil produced by such a large caliber weapon, the rifle is mounted on a specifically designed heavy-duty adjustable tripod assembly. In addition to this unique mounting solution, the rifle features more conventional components, such as an optic set fitted over the receiver, a pistol grip, and a shoulder stock. The extended length barrel is capped by a large slotted muzzle brake to further mitigate recoil. The cartridge is belted, measures 23 by 152 mm, and boasts a bullet weight of 2932 grains a muzzle velocity of 3,182 to 3,215 feet per second, and a muzzle energy of up to 65,582 foot-pounds. This makes it five times as powerful as the 50 g 